so this morning we are in wilderness and we've decided to do a bit of canoeing. We're out on the water now and it's a beautiful day. So we're just going to be traveling upstream and maybe doing a little bit of hiking later. So we've done a lot of kayaking before together, but this is our very first time to canoe. And it is definitely a little bit more stable. Um, part of that has to do with the canoe being wider than a kayak, but the other part has to do with just these waters. They couldn't be any more calmer. I know, it's like being on a mirror. Seriously. Look at that. Hardly any, any waves or ripples. Another one come by, let me know. Right, so we're coming up on a little rope bridge, and we're just gonna canoe right under it. So that is as far as we can get on our canoes. We are going to be hiking the rest of the way. Get moving. <laughs> All right, -ay. so we're off the river now and we're going to be doing a bit of hiking. We've got our little map, so hopefully we won't get too lost. And yeah, let's head into the unknown. I think a lot of people who come to South Africa have this, this type of image of the landscape being completely barren and dry, kind of just safari land, but there's so much diversity here and this is a really good example. We're now walking through a lush rainforest. Let's go. I seriously have no idea what animal that was. But it was very cute. So I think we're getting closer to the waterfalls. I can hear them off in the distance. And this looks like a bit of a different path, so let's go. Well, well, I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like we made it to the waterfall, so we're almost there. Just follow me a bit longer, show you the water. On our way back, we saw the waterfalls and we're heading back to find our canoes and we met a few travelers along the way, a few hikers who are also making their way to the waterfall and they asked us, you know, how far to get there and it made me realize that Canadians are some of the only people who measure distances based on time, how long it takes to get there. 
they're asking us how many kilometers, how many miles, and that's such a typical question, but a Canadian will tell you, eh, like 10, 15 minutes or so. Yep, that's us.